in Seoul. LSU, Tiger TV, and LSU Student Media are not responsible for the thoughts and opinions expressed on this show. The content is produced solely by the show's slightly deranged creator, writer, and host, Ryan Banowitz. Enjoy! OMG, audience, it has been forever since we've last spoke. You know, I'm assuming we all survived Mardi Gras, so I'd like to congratulate all of our livers. This week on The Update, I've got some football-related advice for the GOP. Prince A stops by to talk about how hard it is in these mean streets, and I pronounce the death of a YouTube craze. Quit Snapchatting, everybody. It's time to update yourself. Whoever thought I'd be the greatest growing up? Whoever thought I'd be the greatest growing up? So. Since we've been gone, Obama addressed the nation about the state of our good old union, and Republican Senator Rubio responded by getting the world's worst cottonmouth. But I'm not here to talk about the feel-good speeches of the year. One of my favorite people in politics stuck his head out of his gopher hole this Sunday to rip the Republican Party a new platform. The Huffington Post ran an article where Jabba the Gingrich admitted the Republican Party was getting their elephantine behinds kicked by the Democrats. Newt said, in quote, Democrats are a Super Bowl team that we ought to respect deeply, and we are currently a mid-level college team floundering around. This is a fundamental rethinking on how you relate to the American people. You know, I like the analogy from Newt. The Democrats took deer antler spray to win the election, and the Republicans are UL Monroe. Don't worry, though, Republicans. I've got just the man to turn this program around. <sighs> All right. Bet you all didn't know, in my spare time, I coach in a hack southern accent. There's a couple more things we're all fitting to learn today, so sit down, shut up, and hear the words about to come flippity jibbing out of my sexy mouth. We look weaker than a cyclist trying to ride without steroids out there. Y'all gotta pick your heads up. White people been losing African Americans in sports for the past couple decades now, so we just don't have to adjust. First off, will somebody please shut Carl Rove the hell up? Is this just math that you do as a Republican to make yourself feel better, or is this real? That's it. Cutting from the team. You know, can't win with that type of talent on the offensive line. Now, but speaking of offensive lines, look, y'all got to back off the homosexuals. Gay people, not just women with other pretty women, are going to get married everywhere soon. So y'all just going to have to accept that. You, know, you don't have to eat the damn cake. You just got to let them have it. You know, and eat it too. I think they want the same cake. And I, I don't know. Probably tastes better. Watch Top Chef all the time. Best cooks ain't straight. Moving on. If you ever want to take the pretty lady to prom again, and more importantly, to inauguration, we're going to need some help from the Hispanics, y'all. We already asked them to do everything else for us. Why not vote? I know we love white people, but this country is a melting pot or whatever, so we're going to have to play nice and get along. And no, Marco Rubio is not the solution to that problem. Clearly the man can't stand his hot sauce. Last thing. I get it. We're all richer than hell, and that is awesome. But the rest of these poor people don't seem to take too kindly to that. And I'm not saying you should give away your millions, <laughs> I'm saying billions. I'm just saying maybe talk a little less about it. Or maybe stop electing guys who fire people for a living, you know, for, just for fun. Last time I checked, 99% bigger than one. Even though good old Carl Rove proved we ain't so good at math. We can still turn this game around though, boys. I look around this country club and I see a group of young people mostly old dudes, with a will to win. Maybe just to make money, you know, I'm not quite sure. I believe this country was made for democracy and freedom. And these bozos ruin it. Now let's get out there, get some votes, and win this damn election. Republicans on three. One, two, three, GOP! Whew. Good luck carrying that momentum for four years. I promise myself I'd only do that once. Come back after the break, because I sit down with Louisiana rapper and longtime friend, Prince A. He's your other favorite rapper, in case you didn't know. It's okay, get it in your head, get it in your head. I'm the king, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't did. That I ain't did. Welcome back. That Tasty Groove was brought to you by the realest rapper around, the man at this desk, Prince A. Thanks for coming up, man. Uh, you, you know I'm always here. All right, uh, first off, how tiring is it to be everybody's favorite rapper? Because I feel like that's incredibly <laughs> time consuming. It's a lot of pressure, you know what I mean? Like, you, you work so hard, you do everything you have to do, and then people still love you. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, what if their primary rapper skates out, and then you got to go over there at, like, 2 in the morning? That sounds like it's a problem. <laughs> All right, the next, how, how hard is it? Because I know you've kind of built yourself up from, like, 14 years old. How hard is it to kind of carve out your own space in hip-hop? 
Well, uh, it's different. E everything I do is essentially trying to find out what's never been done, what's never been attempted. Mm -hmm. And so I, I go at that wholehearted with, with all my energy and mm -hmm. all my ambition. And it seems to be, it, it's, I make it seem easier than it is, I'll say it that way. I, I mean, I would just rap about big booties and, and like <laughs> pouring champagne directly on them. <laughs> it's the most fun way to enjoy a booty. <laughs> <laughs> A la mode. All right, but um, your most recent mixtape, uh, Superhero Status Part 2, dropped just recently. How is your music advancing? Because everybody's got to take it to the next level. Yeah, um, well, if you listen to it, you can, you can actually hear it. Uh, I start off that song with Wake Up, which is uh, it's an AWOL Nation remix, you can call it. And I just kind of tell everybody, hey, here, here's the deal. I'm doing what I got to do. I'm taking it to the next level. If you haven't heard it before, we're here it goes right now. Uh, do you, I will say you consistently give me things and I'm like, I've heard this beat maybe before, but not <laughs> in this way. But um, I guess, how much does radio hip hop, from what you do, like whenever you turn on the radio, how much does that just piss you off? Because I can usually <laughs> only listen to it for about like 15 seconds before I'm like, uh, yeah, done, heard this. Yeah, uh, no, it, it, it's terrible. I hate hearing people, <laughs> I hate hearing people who are worse at their job than me get more shine than I do. It's really aggravating, isn't it, TV people? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, um, what I'm wondering is, you, you and my, a friend of both of ours, Casual Look producer, y'all have been cooking some stuff up. Yeah. Here. When are y'all gonna officially blow up? Like, when do I have to back off with my blast gear? Uh, well, my, my new single, Drop It's coming out March 5th, so. Drop it. No, <laughs> I've, I've, heard, I've heard a taste of this beast, and if you have any incentive to not drop your booty, it will be gone <laughs> as soon as you listen to this track. All right, now I've been doing this throughout the month. It's Black History Month, as we know. Yes, we do. Who is your favorite African-American individual ever? That's right, <laughs> dropping it on you. Uh, George Washington Carver. The Easy. peanut guy. Easy. The peanut guy. Yeah, so innovative. How is that, how is that just <laughs> so right on the bat, George Washington Carver? I think about it a lot is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this is just a point, person, uh, point of personal interest, mm -hmm. if I can get my peas out. I mean, you're probably better at me than that. What is your favorite song you've ever made, Ooh, ever? That was, that's a good one. Um, my favorite song I ever made would have to be 8-Bit Truth or Homecoming. 8-Bit uh, Truth is a song that I, I did, you, I, I know you've heard it. Mm -hmm. uh, I put a lot of emotion into that one. Mm -hmm. Now, Homecoming I made right after my dad died. It was oh, maybe wow. three or four days after that. So mm -hmm. it's full of emotion. It's on more important things, but that's an older mixtape. Nice. Okay, well, I mean, Alexis, you're always a pleasure. You know, you're my boy. Love you to death. <laughs> I will hug you on camera. But, you know, stick around after the break, audience for this week's takeaway, because there's something that has to stop right now. Don't move, I'll be watching. Bicycle in the back is the best. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Harlem Shake video. But I'm sure you all know that. The topic of this week's takeaway is pretty straightforward. Stop making Harlem Shake videos. They're played out. And if you and your friends want to dance around in your mom's minivan wearing costumes, go ahead. I'll be with the cool kids pointing and laughing in my stepdad's BMW. You know, you know a trend is officially dead once it trickles down or up to old white people who barely understand the internet. When Jim Nance and Vern Cheeseburger Lundquist said the word swag, I knew it was no longer cool. Just look at what is happening at local news stations. Oh God, the horror, the horror, oh God. Once white guys in ties start doing this, we can officially declare something dead. You know, I'm sorry I had to show you that, but it was for your own good. You know, no more Harlem Shake, and I mean it. Join me next week for another enthralling installment of The Update. And this week, you know, I don't have to give you silly ways to update yourself, because you can just sit on your couch and watch our broadcast of Maya Angelou coming up at 7. That's how you do a promo, people. So, see you next week. My heart grows colder every week we're apart, so you can see me on the Facebook page or the Twitter. It don't wax. It, 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 it.